Tech the Halls with Appalachian Wireless offering you up to $850 off select devices through Black Friday with no activation fee. Up to $850 off the latest and greatest devices. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Kentucky State Police Post 9 is preparing for back-to-back holiday events with Cram the Cruiser and the KSP Toy Drive. Cram the Cruiser is a two-week-long food drive with a signature event at Food City on November 30th. Troopers will be accepting non-perishable food items to donate back to the community. Yeah, so Cram the Cruiser is actually a two-week program. Uh, started yesterday and will run till uh, December 4th. There's a one-day signature event. Uh, each post has a signature event, so there's 16 posts throughout the state. They're all on different days. Ours is going to be on November 30th uh, from 10 to 3 at the uh, Pikeville Food City. Uh, at, that, at that point, you can come out, donate non-perishable food items. Uh, we'll have a bucket set up if you want to do monetary donations. Uh, and all those food items and all the money that's donated is given to local food banks. So the items donated actually stay right here in our, in our county. Uh, so they're not being spread out across the state. You know, if you donate here, it's going to go to people here in our community. The 8th annual KSP Toy Drive is taking place on December 1st and 2nd at the Pikeville Walmart. Donations can be submitted early at Post 9 for those unable to attend. Uh, we've been doing this toy drive for several years. We partner with the Ray of Hope, which is a nonprofit organization out of Louisa. Uh, we come out, we go to Pikeville Walmart. Uh, I think Friday starts at 4 p.m. Uh, we'll go to about 8 Friday evening. Uh, Saturday is going to be from 12 to about 4 or 5 that day. Uh, you can come out, you can donate a toy. Um, you don't have to go in Walmart and buy the toy, but you know if you bring a toy, it has to be a new toy though. Uh, we can't take, take used items. Um, but you can donate a new toy or we'll have a bucket set up there. If you want to donate money, we'll go in and buy the toys. At which point, myself and the organization we work with, the Ray of Hope, we split those toys and then take them out and give them to kids in our community. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.